not be 1, y can be 3, may not be 3, may be 3, may not be 3. Clear to you children? In the sense, these terms are determined by the speed with which that particular reactant reacts. It doesn't mean that this stoichiometric coefficients can be written here. Most of the cases they are same. But some cases it varies also. Clear to you what I told? For example, the decomposition of ammonia 2NS3, if I write, it is N2 plus 3H2 decomposition. If I write the rate, rate is equal to K into, I should write NS3 raised to 2. But it is not NS3 raised to 2, it is K into NS3 raised to 0. NS3 raised to 0 means it is 0, the reactant is not, means the rate expression, this term is not 2 here, it is not the stoichiometric coefficient, but it is some other term which we got from the experiment. It is an experimental quantity, the rate or the speed with which a reactant works is an experimental quantity. It may match with the stoichiometric coefficient, it may not match with the stoichiometric coefficients, but most of the cases it matches. Now, we come to the term rate low and rate constant, hope you understood. Now, order and molecularity. In order and molecularity, molecularity is a very simple concept. It is a number of molecules taking part in a chemical reaction. Molecularity is, a number of, is the number of molecules taking part in a chemical reaction. You see, this is a chemical reaction. Number of molecules taking part, here it is 1, here it is 3, 3 plus 1, 4 molecules taking part in the chemical reaction. Directly from the balanced chemical equation, you will be able to know how many molecules took part in a chemical reaction. Here, if I write another equation, here the molecularity is 3 plus 1, 4. In another case, if I write H2 plus I2 giving 2 HI, Here the molecularity is 1 plus 1, number of molecule taking part in the chemical reaction is 2, so we call it as the molecularity is 2 in this case. So molecularity as you know, it can never be 0, we cannot write molecularity 0 means no molecules take part in the reaction, no chemical reaction takes place. It can never be fraction, you cannot cut and add a molecule in the reaction system. So it can never be 0, it can never be fraction, it is a theoretical concept. From the balanced chemical equation, you can make out how many molecules took part in the chemical reaction. Now come to the another term which is called the order. See children, for one example I am telling, in a class we are 50 children. If their running speed we count, some run very fast. So there will be a group of children, suppose I categorize your class of 50 into a group of 5, some will be slow rise, they will run very slowly, some will be running very fast, some will be mediocres, some will have above average speed. Study also if you count it is like that. So we can group the whole class into 5 depending upon either how they study or how they run depending upon their speed of movements. Like that, there are lakhs and lakhs and crores of chemical reactions. Depending upon the kinetics, the speed with which the reaction takes place or how it reacts in a reaction system and the mechanism with which it follows, depending upon that, the reactions are grouped into many categories. Like how we call each of your groups a Tagore or uh, uh, like a Raman house like that, we call them as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is, doesn't mean that we call the reaction, the categorization of the reactants are classified as, it is categorized as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. That means like the name which is given to a particular house, it is given a name 0, it is given a name 1, given a name 2, given a name 3, given a name 4. If a reaction follows 0 order, what does it mean? There are two reactions which follow its kinetics are same. 
means speed with which it follows or the concentration dependence will be same or what, what, does, what did I mean to say depending upon the rate or speed with which chemical reaction proceed it is grouped into various orders zero order first order second order third order etc students we have different type of children in the class some are very below average some are mediocres some are above average some are very good in studies so if we group them according to their caliber uh, to uh, score in board examination or according to their ability to study we can group them into four or five groups i am calling them as zero means the one group which study uh, according to their the way with which they study the highest scorers i am calling them as zero then above average comes i am calling them as group 1 then group 2 that is average then comes group 3 below average then comes group 4 slow learners from high scorers to low achievers i have grouped them grouped them into 0 to 4 according to their capacity to learn in a class so same way reactions chemical reactions also follows various uh, kinetics and speeds so according to their speed with which the reaction proceeds chemical reactions are also grouped into various uh, categories which is known as order of the reaction depending upon is reaction which is to be zero order doesn't mean that its order is zero it means that the reactions which comes under zero order all behave same in kinetic way same kinetics they follow what does that is what i meant to say the reactions which comes under zero order all follows same kinetics the reactions which comes under first order that all follows same kinetics second order also that all follows same kinetics that is what it it means so that is what is meant by molecularity we have studied now we are going to study the order so there are reactions which comes under zero order there are reactions which comes under first order there are reactions which comes under second order and all even there are reactions which are grouped into fractional order half order and uh, three uh, one, one and a half order means three by two orders order can be a fraction order can be zero order can be zero doesn't mean that its order is zero order fraction means doesn't mean that molecularity is fraction but order zero means it comes under zero order reactions order three by three and a half means it comes under fractional order reactions that is what it, it means as we have discussed the order and molecularity i have briefed the difference between order and molecularity you can go through once some of the powers of the stoichiometric coefficients which gives order always it is not necessary but most of the case it is same experimental quantity matches with the theoretical concept Molecularity, it is a number of molecules taking part in a chemical reaction. It is purely you get from the balance of chemical equation. Order is an experimental quantity. Molecularity is a theoretical concept. Order can be zero. Order can be fraction. Molecularity never can be zero, never can be fraction. Is it clear to you children? Now, we come to the measurements of units of rate constant. Units of rate constant that is simple but it's a sure question in examination many times the difference between order and molecularity earlier they used to ask earlier in the sense before 2005 we don't know what is the trend of the question it can be again be asked now the frequently asked question is you should know the units of rate constant for example if i write rate is equal to rate constant k for a reaction r giving products concentration of reactant raised to zero if it is zero order am i correct the order determines when we write the rate equation order how we determine is for example if i write n2 plus 3 h2 giving 2 ns3 if i write this if i write rate is equal to k into concentration of n2 and concentration of h2 cube 
H2 N2 raise to 1, H2 raise to 3. Order normally, it is not true in all the cases, but most of the cases it is correct. The sum of the powers of stoichiometric coefficients give you the order. 1 plus 3 will give you the order, means it is 4. Here it appears to be the order is 3 plus 1, 4 not necessary in all the cases. I have told you, so this is the way with which we calculate the order. H2 plus I2 giving 2 Hi. This case also you see, if I write the rate, the rate expression will be K into concentration of H2 into concentration of I2 the order is 1 plus 1 that is order is 2 in this case it can, after the experiment only after doing the experiments only we can make out whether the order is 2 or not but this is a simple way or it is a trick to find out the order I should say. So if I write like that for a zero order reaction rate is equal to cash into R raised to 0 it should be what is the power of the reactant or what is this term, stoichiometric coefficient or what is the power of this term, that will be the order naturally. So for a zero order reaction, it is R raised to zero. Then it is first order reaction, what will be the expression children? For a first order reaction, what I should write? For a first order reaction, I should write it as rate is equal to K into R raised to 1. This is first order. For a second order reaction, I should write rate is equal to K into R raised to 2. Then it is second order. Experimentally, we have proved that this is first order, that is first order, that is second order. Is it clear to you? So, when I write the unit, rate is change in concentration by time. So, rate ka unit kya hoga? Rate is equal to change in concentration upon time. Concentration we write in moles per liter. So, of course, it will be moles per liter and this will be in seconds, time in seconds. So, the unit of rate will be moles per liter per second. So, I will write the first term for zero order. We will derive the units of zero order reaction. Equation is this, its unit is the rate has got a unit moles per liter divided by second. So, I will write this equation, rate is equal to K into R raised to 0. You know A raised to 0 is 1. So, I should write rate is equal to K into 1. So, it will be moles per liter divided by second which is a unit of rate which is equal to K. Am I correct? Because this term has become 1. So, the K is equal to moles per liter per second. This is a unit of rate constant of a zero order reaction which is moles per liter per second. So, there will be a question examination. The rate constant of a particular reaction is 2.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles per liter per second. What is the order of the reaction? So many times this question is being asked. The data will vary, it can be any number, but into this what is the order of the reaction? You should see the unit children. Unit is what is written? Moles per liter per second. So the order will be what? Rate constants unit is given moles per liter per second. This unit is the order, is a unit of rate constant of a zero order reaction. So the reaction follows zero order kinetics. Clear? Now I come to the first order reactions. So we have come to the conclusion for zero order. The unit is moles per liter per second. For first order, again the expression is rate is equal to K into R raised to 1. K into R raised to 1. So, this rate's unit is moles per liter per second. K into R is 
moles per liter. So, concentration you would as moles per liter, this rate is moles per liter per second, these two terms get cancelled. So, k is equal to 1 by second that is second inverse. So, the unit of rate constant k is unit is, this is also unit of k is second inverse, yeah per second. So, that will be a question, the unit of rate constant of a particular reaction is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 second inverse. What is the order of the reaction? How you will know? You should see what is the unit given. It is given second inverse. So, the order will be first order. Now, it comes to second order reaction. Rate of a reaction is equal to k into r square. Means, here I need to write rate is moles per moles per liter per second this is equal to k into r that is moles per liter whole square so this moles per liter and mo one more one of the moles per liter get cancels so k 1 by second is equal to k into moles per liter or k is equal to 1 by moles per liter per second that is equal to mole raised to minus 1 liter second raised to minus 1. Mole upper jayagato it will be mole raised to minus 1 liter when it comes it is per liter so it is liter second 1 by second it is second inverse so the unit of second order reaction is mole raised to minus 1 liter second inverse so these are the units of a zero order first order and second order kinetics any data given with the unit is given then you should know what is the order of the reaction and how it uh, what is the order of the reaction from where from the unit which, with which it is given this is a sure shot one mark question hope students what all just we have written what all the content we have written you understand